So today we have a physics question of the day. I mean, it's asking us, a cannon is shot at 30 degrees with an initial speed of 20 meters per second. How long was the object in flight? So the first thing that we want to notice uh, when dealing with this question is that this is a cannon that shot at 30 degrees, which means that it has to be a projectile motion question. All right. um, so what this is saying is that we have this projectile that is shot at an uh, angle of 30 degrees um, and it says that the initial speed is 20 meters per second. All right. So 20 meters per second is the initial speed. Um, and all it wants us to find is the time. Uh, so the time that it takes to go all the way over here. Um, so the one thing that we can do for these projectile motion questions is split them into components. So all that we really care about for this question is the vertical component. Um, so if we have, this is 20 meters per second, um, and this is at 30 degrees, we know that this has to be 20 sine 30 um, meters per second, which is the same as 10, because sine 30 is 1 half. So pretty much we can split this question into saying we're on the ground, and we shoot an object um, at 10 meters per second up into the air. All right? How long does it take for it to reach back down to the ground? All right? So pretty much we can say that V0 equals 10. Um, v final, well V final, when it comes all the way back down, it'll be going the same speed but in opposite direction. So negative 10 meters per second. Um, acceleration, always 10 or negative 10. Um, and T equals, well that's what we want to find out. And distance, do we care about that? No, um, we don't care about distance for this problem. So the equation that we will use is V equals V naught plus AT. That's the um, equation that we use when we are not given anything about D. Um, so we just plug these in, negative 10 equals 10 plus negative 10 times T, and we find that T equals two seconds. Um, and we have to ask ourselves, is this the time it takes for it to go all the way up into there or just halfway? Um, and we know this is the time it takes to go all the way back down because our final uh, velocity is negative 10, whereas if it was just halfway to this point right here, we would have said Vf equals zero. And so if we look back on our answer choices, we see that B is the correct answer. Hey guys, remember to post any questions you would like us to answer in the next question of the day down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.